What's up, everybody? Hope you had a good Sunday uh, watching the Lions win, lose, whatever that was. So we're on to Chapter 3, which is the Colonial Age, Part 2, the European Presence. And we're going to be focusing on uh, the British settlements this time. And it's going to be in the importance of like the year 1619 to U.S. history, which uh, we'll, you'll delve into on your own. So you have Ch Carnes Chapter 1, American Society in the Making, you need to take a look at. And on the syllabus, we have Zin Chapter 3, Persons of Mean and Vile Condition. We're actually going to switch it up this week. I think it's probably better that you read Chapter 2 of Zin, Drawing the Color Line. And uh, at least the excerpt that I created for you in the Lancaster History Reader. So go ahead and open that up under the Start Here tab and just scroll on down to Zin Chapter 2. It'll be all the way at the bottom and read that. And then um, you're going to have uh, another video to watch this week. It's going to be Journey into the Unknown, Bradford and the uh, Pilgrim's Father. And uh, it's a about 50-minute video kind of explaining... The importance of Bradford uh, to the English colonies that are set up in the 1600s. And then uh, we have a forum discussion question number three, which this one is uh, interesting because you're going to have to have read the first two weeks of reading to make sure you really get this. You can do a, pair, a compare and contrast of uh, Howard Zinn versus Larry Schweikart and looking at uh, you know their narratives. And I need you to sort of um, see if you can piece together sort of uh, the history between, um, you know, they both have biases and they're using those when they write. And you need to go through and sort of dissect what's the truth. So, um, yep, you'll have that. And then lastly, after you've done all that, you'll also have quiz number one. Quiz number one will be located on the test slash quiz slash assignments tab, which will be on the left side. Uh, blackboard make sure you, you go there and uh, you're gonna want to get the work done for this week first before you take that quiz because the things that are covered on that quiz will be there as well so you have about an hour to finish that so uh, hopefully you've been watching the other videos I've been sending out because I haven't had a whole lot of feedback as far as final projects go yet make sure that you contact me on that as well uh, via email and uh, the biggest thing, you know, before I go is I want you to pull away something every week like we talked about. And uh, you're really what the message I'm trying to get to you this week is definitely, um, you know, history is not monolithic, as we've talked about in the past before. It's not uh, one person decides what happened. And that's how it is. Uh, you know, generally in the past, that's sort of how it's been viewed. It's the, the those in power, those, uh, you know who the victors write the uh, write history and that's not necessarily an accurate portrayal of what actually happens in history so it's important that we look at all sides and you can't always trust the narrator not everyone that tells you something is telling you the truth except for me of course i would never lie to you because we go way back but for the most part um everyone has something to tell you and they're telling you it for a reason and that reason usually is to, it could be to push an agenda. It could be to, uh, you know, protect someone or something. It could be to tell a story, you know. And people have different varying degrees of accountability as far as history goes. And so we have to take that into account as well when we review these sources. So, again, we're going back to playing detective this week, going through, and we're having we're cross-examining two different witnesses of the same event and I want you to see if you can piece together what happened so again if you need anything from me questions comments concerns ideas if you you know just need someone to vent to you can reach me on email and uh, if not I will see you next week